Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So as we discussed earlier, we are done with chapter four, and now we are going to start the chapter work, energy, and power. The topic that uh, we will study first in this chapter is work. Okay. Now, according to our general sense, anything we do is called work. Like if someone is sleeping, yes, sleeping is a work. If someone is sitting somewhere, that is a work. If someone is running, that is a work. Everything that you do, you are looking at something that is also work. That is in general sense. But according to physics, we cannot say everything is a work. Okay. So in order to say or uh, mention something as work, what needs to be there? Two things needs to be there. Number one, force. And the second thing is displacement. Basically, the definition of work according to Acha Alif I, has a question. Is there any formula for friction? No, there is no formula for friction. To calculate friction, you don't have any formula, any particular fixed formula. No, nothing is like that. Okay, so as I was saying, what is the definition of work? Work is the product of force and displacement. Let me explain it a little further. Let us say we are applying, this box is kept on the floor. We are applying a particular amount of force. Let us say F amount of force is being applied on it. Okay. But the box is not moving at all. So what is the displacement? What is the displacement? Sir, no displacement. Because it is not, it has not been displaced. The initial position is here. The final position is also here. So the yes. initial and final position is zero. So even though there is a force applied, but as the displacement is zero, the work done is zero. You cannot say that or you cannot demand that you have done any work, okay? So that is why whenever we want to say that I have done some work, according to physics, there must be some force applied, there must be a displacement caused in the direction of force applied, okay? Now, like the watchman who sits in the same place the whole night, okay? says that I have done a lot of work because he was awake the whole night. He looked after the building, okay? He was in charge of the security. So uh, staying awake the whole night is not a, you know, child's play, okay? It's not an easy task to do. So <clears throat> definitely he will demand a salary in the morning, okay? But if someone says him according to physics that the whole night you will sat in the same place, there was no displacement. So if there is no displacement, then there is no work. You have done zero amount of work. So uh, you will not get any salary. So that will not work, okay? So you can understand that in general sense, the work, the meaning of work, and according to physics, the meaning of work, it's not same. There is a little bit of difference, okay? So <clears throat> we understand what we mean by, uh, you know, work by general sense, but According to physics, there has to be some force applied and there has to be some displacement. Now let us say we are applying an amount of five Newton force on this body and due to the application of this force, the body has been displaced by a distance of, uh, let us say 10 meter. So now you can say that you have done some work. Now we want to be able to calculate the work. How much work you have done? You can just multiply these two. The force applied is 5 and displacement is 10. So 5 into 10, it will be 50. But what is the unit? I hope you understand the meaning of unit, right? Because whenever we go to some shop, we not only say that uh, I need 5 price, okay? 5 is the magnitude. It is the amount, but there has to be a unit like kg or gram, okay? So like that, work 50 is the value the magnitude but what is the unit how much work you have done the unit is it's clear this 5 is newton right and this 10 it is meter so newton into meter is newton meter so that is the unit of work now new this newton meter this one newton meter can also be named as one joule joule is the name of a scientist okay james prescott joule 
according to his name the unit of work has been named so 1 newton meter means 1 joule understood yes sir yes sir okay yes sir so <clears throat> if someone applies force on the wall okay definitely he is applying large amount of force but will the wall is not moving from its place so according to physics can he demand that he did some work no no no, no. Now, related to this, there is a very funny incident. Uh, I saw a post in Facebook or Instagram, mostly in Facebook, I guess. A boy wrote, okay, that Banglai bolli, wo Banglai likhse to to Banglai bolle jinista mainly hoyto bhalo kore buste varva. So, o likhse ki je o or baasha theke new market ja or jono, ane mall ja or jono ekta riksha ke bhara korse. So, o rickshaw yuxse, rickshaw kore o mall e gese, and then o abar bashai back ashse. Okay. So, tailo or initial position ki chilo, dekhi bolo to. Or basha. Acha disconnect kare gese lang number bol ban. Back ashse. Final position ko thai. Bashai. So, tailo or ki kono displacement hoyse? Na sir. Na sir. Ane to rickshaw la ke bollo ki mama displacement zero. Work done zero. आपने कोनो कास करने के साथ ना के भारा दिवो ना। हम रिक्शा कौन की बारों में ही गए से। तो भारा दिए दिसे आज की। ठीक है। तो कौनो स्टेटस दिसे जो फिजिक्स डज नॉट अप्लाई इन रियल लाइफ। ठीक है सर। तो ये इटा आपने जिन्हें तो चे अकॉर्डिंग टू फिजिक्स वर्क केर मीनिंग टेक तू डिफरेंट डेफिनेशन so, what is the definition? I'm shortcut like see tumra full liko what the definition. The product of force and the displacement along the direction of force. is called what the product of force and the displacement along the direction of force applied that is can apply this one force applied is called what <clears throat> so the unit is न्यूटन मीटर और जूल, जूल के शॉर्टकट है, जे दियो लिखा दे, ओके? दें द सिंबल मींस विथ व्हिच लेटर यू एक्सप्रेस वर्ड दैट इज़ डब्ल्यू, ओके? एंड डाइमेंशन सर डब्ल्यू की वेट ना डब्ल्यू दिया वेट ओ एक्सप्रेस करो है अब डब्ल्यू दिया वर्ड ओ एक्सप्रेस करो है सर हमें बुझ बो के मैं कौन कौन टा इंशाल्लाह बुझ जाएगा ये टा आपसे तुमरा ही तो एक्सप्रेस करवा ना धारो तुम्हारे के कोने का प्रॉब्लम है वर्ट बेर करते बोल से तो तुमरा लिख पाओ वर्ट कॉमा डब्ल्यू इज़ इक्वल टू तो बुझ जाए जब जब उखने तुम्हें डब्ल्यू दे वर्ट खाली रख लो Let us take a look at the explanation or the equation. Okay, what is the equation of work? It is W is equal to F into S. 
Okay, so what is F here? F is force. Force applied. And S is the displacement. Sir, Vijay asked for so what is dimension? Vijay asked for so what is dimension? Dimension is a. First chapter is a very good chapter. I hope you will be able to see the first lecture. Vijay, you will be able to see the first lecture. So, you will be able to see the dimension, symbol, unit, and you will be able to discuss the first lecture. And then, you will be able to see the dimension, you will understand. Okay, so here, F is the force applied and S is the displacement in the direction of force applied. Okay, so kindly complete the notes in your notebook. Now let us talk about the dimension. How I how can we find out the dimension of work? <clears throat> See, we know that work is equal to force into displacement. So Force is equal to mass into acceleration at equal to ma. We have learned from the Newton's yes. theorem. Yes, sir. Yes. Now mass and acceleration. What is acceleration? Velocity. V minus U minus V divided by T. Yeah, that means the change yes. of velocity. Let us say the change of velocity. Okay, delta. Delta means change of something. So change of velocity. Yes. Then, what is velocity? Velocity is, you know, distance divided by time. Correct or not? See, I'm yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. That the eight ke bhenge, amra three ta dimension mo dhan to hobe. Shet hoche ki ki mass, length, time. Mass er jonno capital M, length er jonno capital L, time er jonno T. जो तो कौन कोर्ट जोन तो ए तीन टा बाद यार उनमें कोनो किचु थक देना तो तो कौन कोर्ट जोन तो तुम्हारे किता भंगते ही थकते होंगे जब हम प्रथम ही हमने देखी फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट इखाने ए जे ए तीनों टा कोनो टा ही नहीं तो ये कारण है हमने फोर्स के भेंग ओ एक्चुअली ए जे डिस्प्लेसमेंट किंतु एक्सेलरेशन इटे की वेलोसिटी बाय टाइम, राइट? तो टाइम हो आम्रा पे गेसी, पर एक ने वेलोसिटी इटा डाइमेंशन की, इटा उसे आवार डिस्टेंस डिवाइड बाय टाइम, तो ओवरऑल तुम्हें जो भी आपन देखो इखा ने मास लेंथ और टाइम ये तीन तरह सारा कोनो किस्म है, सो इखा ने m into इटे की हो बे देखिए पहले एक बार एक घंटे की की लेखा से बोलो तो दिस एम मास है जो नो चे कैपिटल एम देन एस इनटू एस एक लो चे लेंथ एल इनटू एल इट विल बी एल स्क्वायर देन टी इनटू टी इट इस टी स्क्वायर इन द डिनोमिनेटर इट विल बी टी इन्वर्स टू सो एम एल स्क्वायर टी इन्वर्स टू दिस इस व्हाट सिर्� जेनरलिटी so v minus u, this is change of velocity. That is why it can be represented as delta v, change of velocity. Okay? Acha. Ekhon, to madher ekhane ekko confusion chilo mano hai na? Je mane ki bhabhe l square to t square velo? Okay, no problem. Amra eta raage taile aro ekta line dhe tete shagari. Shero chhe, khyal karo ekhane mass, eta to kiki thak bhe. Then s into 1 into s. Will it become s square? Correct? Yes. And then yes, sir. T, it will become T square. Correct or not? 
Correct, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. M. Mass. It is expressed with capital M. Whenever we are writing the dimension, we have to put the capital letter, right? And S, it is the displacement. Now, displacement is a length, right? Okay. Yes. L. S square, it will become L square. Then, divided by, it will be time is T, T square, right? So, this should be our yes. answer. But we know that we can write this 1 by t square, this can be written as t inverse 2. This one you already know, right? Because we learned this mm -hmm. while we are studying motion, right? So according to that, what this can be written? m l square t inverse 2. And you have to put it in a third bracket. This is the dimension of work. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. OK. So this is what we had to do. We still not understand. Okay. Now we will study another two mark question uh, from Word. The question goes like this. Um, Okay, you understand, right? Because if in the question they ask you to find out the dimension of work, in this process, you have to break it down and then you have to write the dimension finally, okay? If you just write the answer, it, it's not enough, okay? If you just write that ML square T inverse two, that is the dimension of work, that's not enough. You have to derive it. You have to show the process of derivation that I have just shown, okay? Achha. Okay, what is the significance of 50 joule work? Or the question might be like this, what do you understand by 50 joule work? Okay, any, any one of these two might be the question. So what will be the answer for that? See, uh, let me explain it first, then I will write it systematically how you have to answer in the exam. We know that one joule is equal to one Newton meter. So if I'm writing 50 Joule, as it is mentioned here, 50 Joule should be equal to 50 Newton meter, correct or not? Yes, yes sir. sir. Now this okay. 50 Newton meter can be achieved in so many different ways. Like if I apply a force of 50 Newton on a body and the displacement that is caused is one meter, then I can say that mm -hmm. I have done 50 Joule of work, right? Or if yes. I apply one Newton force on a body and I cause 50 meter displacement, then also I can say I have done 50 Joule of work. Again, if I apply two Newton force on a body and the displacement that is caused is 25 meter, 25 into two, it is still 50 Joule of work. So there are so many ways in which you can answer this question, okay? Understood? The multiplication has to be equal to 50. That's it. So, <clears throat> answer. Fifty joule work means upon application of fifty. Newton force on a body, it underwent a displacement of one meter. Finish. Now, these two numbers you have the liberty to choose. I have taken 50 and one because 50 ones are 50. You can take this number to be five. Then what has to be the displacement? 10. 10 because 10. five into 10 is 50. So it's up to you. If the basic is clear, you can write it any way you want. No problem. Okay. 
তোমরা তোমাদের মত করে সাজাই নিতে পারো কোনো অসুবিধা নেই ওকে 50 জুল অফ ওয়ার্ক মিন্স ইউ উইল अप्लाई 50 নিউটন অফ ফোর্স এন্ড দ্য ডিসপ্লেসমেন্ট দ্যাট উইল বি কজড ডিউ টু দ্য অ্যাপ্লিকেশন অফ দিস ফোর্স ইজ 50 নিউটন ইফ ইট ইজ 50 নিউটন ফোর্স দেন দ্য ডিসপ্লেসমেন্ট উইল বি 1 মিটার আন্ডারস্টুড यस স্যার यस স্যার यस यस স্যার we will not be starting another uh, topic that the next topic is energy inshallah we will talk about it in the following class as we have only 4 minutes left now so kindly go through the video and take notes okay and if you have any doubt inshallah let me know please uh, focus on finding out or the derivation of the dimension okay that i just showed you okay this process you have to learn if you learn this process then in no problem related to dimension we can stop you okay so clear the basics don't go after memorizing try to understand how it has come so that will inshallah uh, you know <clears throat> make you unable to solve any creative that comes your way okay so before we end our class anybody wants to ask any question no sir okay then see you tomorrow inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh